for recreational marijuana in Red Lake is strong. Lines formed again this morning outside a dispensary there. Tonight, Jennifer Hoff shows us why tribal governments say legal marijuana is a game changer for them. A day after pot became legal in Minnesota, there is still a line outside of native care, the first dispensary to open on the Red Lake Reservation. It's open to anyone over 21, and people drove hours yesterday to be here. The tribe turning an old grocery store first into a medical cannabis shop last February, and now it has a state-of-the-art grow facility and an experienced group of consultants and employees who say they went from seed to sale in just two years and tout some of the best product in the state. Tribal governments don't have to wait for the state's licensing system, which actually may not happen until 2025. One of the leaders here saying this store will bring in millions of dollars in a matter of months, more than the gaming that they have within their three casinos. This is truly one of the first times where tribal nations actually got the edge, got an advantage over anybody, and we're going to capitalize on that. And it's not only economically, but we're employing, right? Currently we have over 20, 20 individuals in, in native care right now. Leaders say they served more than 300 customers yesterday and stayed open late, but had to shut the line down at some point. Now they hope to continue building on this reputation and open dispensaries on their reservations in Thief River Falls and War Road. In Red Lake, Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News.